Hey everybody, it's Lathan with Burnin Designs again. Um, this time around I wanted to show you a new product that I've been working on. These will probably be up on the website um, pretty soon. Uh, hopefully by the time that you see this video, if not shortly after. What these are are our new line of combat rulers. Um, been playing quite a few different game systems lately and having to deal with measuring distances and those sorts of things. Um, you have your ruler and you can check where stuff is at. But I wanted something a little more accurate, something to give me a little more control. So that's where these came in. What these are, and I'm going to reach around behind the camera, are indented um, measuring sticks for your different movements. So this one is our Derringer model which is designed for, and if you can see if that'll show up on the camera, a little hard to see, lighting, let's see, there we go, a little bit better. That's for the 60 to 65 millimeter base. Um, I've got a version for 50 millimeter lip style bases. So if you play something like War Machine or Hordes, uh, there is the, the P90 model, which is for 25 and 40 millimeter bases, and the MP5, which is for the, whoops, there we go, so it's the MP5, um, which is for your 30 and 40 millimeter bases. So, what it is though, like, so this will be one of them, so this one is, and you'll notice at the top there is a two inch section for just checking unit cohesion, and on the back of this one, there is a one inch section, but also a half inch marker. So with this, you can pretty much measure your full distances. So the way you'd use it, we're gonna go ahead and set one down and we'll grab a 40 mil base model. So we have him on our 40 mil base. Okay. And if we wanted to move him the full six, it's just one, two, three. So that would be a three inch move, four, five, or the full six. What's neat about it is it measures the exact distance that you're going. So you can do things like if I wanted to, for example, if I wanted to move this model three inches, move them up three, but then say I wanted to turn his direction, all I do is rotate it around the base. I don't ever, and we'll do that again so you can actually see it a little bit better because my hand was in the way. And, right, so, and actually what we'll do is we'll reverse this. So I'm actually going to do it backwards, but that's okay. There we go. So, we're going to take them, we're going to move him, one, whoops, leave it there, go one, two, three. So we've moved him three, three inches, but then say he wants to turn direction, I'm just going to rotate this around him, still in that same one, and then I can move him the rest. So that way I don't ever worry about where he's moving, it's always moving that full distance. Um, so it's kind of nice, you still have, of course, if I needed to measure Say, for example, I wanted to measure the distance between two models. If I needed just that one inch spacing, I could. Or if I wanted to check for a two inch spacing between two models, I can do that as well. But they're sized for each size base. So that was using the 40 mil side, but say I wanted to use a 30 mil, which would be what that one would be. So it would be the same kind of thing, where if I wanted to measure the distance, I just slide them from notch to notch all the way up to six if I needed to. So what's nice is you basically set the unit, you'll set your ruler down and then you'll be able to move the figure. There is none of that ambiguity of, well, was that a six inch move or a six and a half inch move, any of that stuff. I know we don't, we don't mean to do it when we're playing, but occasionally we do have stuff to slide. So this gets you kind of around that. Um, for your larger base ones, like for example, let's see, let's go for the, the 50 mil. So this will be for a 50 mil base, and we'll see if that's the right one for this one. Yes, it is. Cool. So, and it would be the same kind of thing. So, there's a one inch move for him, two inch, all the way through to your six. The neat thing about it as well is because it does wrap around, you don't worry about over, over moving them. So as long as you don't move the ruler, you don't worry about the, the model moving too far. So it gives you a little more control. And there is even a version that I did for 60 mil bases. Now I don't have any 60 mil models right here in front of us right now, but you get the idea. Same thing though on this one. 
this would be the 2540, so if you play something like 40K or Infinity, where those are going to be your two most common sizes, you'll be able to grab a 25 mil fig. This is actually one of the Reaper Bones ones, but we'd be able to move him through the same type of setup. So let me back this up a little. So it would be the same thing, where I just slide him along as many. If I want to rotate him, all I do is rotate the ruler around the mini, as opposed to measuring, stop, measure, stop. You just rotate it around, and you can continue on. Again, in the case of this one, you still have, in a, and on all of them really, you have that, that two inch, that two inch measuring unit. So you have a space on each one of them. If you're just checking for that quick two inch coherency, you can. Um, on the 30-40 millimeter one, which is primarily for war machines, I did add the one inch and the half inch, just because those are two sizes that you come into a lot in that game as well. But these would be them. They're a pretty neat design. It makes it a lot easier when you're going to measure some of this stuff out. So we'll set these out there. And as I said, they will be up on the site shortly. So there will be a 40 mil, and we'll pop him on 25. And here's another 40. And we have, of course, the 50s. So they'll fit all kinds of, different, all sizes of different models, all different shapes. Pretty basic design. As always, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Um, we've got them in all different shapes, sizes. These are actually in some purple acrylic that I had for the prototypes that I just colored in the that is colored in the text on. Normally the text on them is just white. On these I actually painted them. But, neat little tool. Comes in handy. Makes things a little bit easier for you when you're going to game. Anyway, take care everybody. See you next video.